All right, so I've got a very special video for you here. Apparently, we have the game's very first progression-based emote. So first and foremost, credit where credit is due. This comes from one of my followers on Twitter. His name is Rising Miles. So he has a YouTube channel as well as a Twitter. I will link both of those in the description as well as the comment section. Be sure to check him out. So the emote in question is this one right here, the crowning achievement. So I've already done a video on how you get this particular emote. If you want to check that out, I will link it in the outro. But basically every time you get a crown and then win a match, you get a number added to this emote. So it's essentially reactive to wins. We already knew that much. Now, again, just to clarify that, because I had people ask me, just getting a victory doesn't add to this count. You have to be wearing a crown. So I've had six crowned victory royales, but I've had about 15 normal victory royales. So unless you're wearing that crown, it will not add to that number. So again, that's just the reactivity. So what Rising Miles has shown me is that the more wins you earn with the victory crown, it'll start to add jewels to it and it gets bigger. So again, this is the first progression-based emote we've ever had in Fortnite, to my knowledge. So let's just do a quick comparison. So here's my crowning achievement. Now I've got six crowned victory royales. And as you can see, my crown has no jewels on it. It's got one llama in the front and then a few little spikes to the left and right. So now let's take a look at Rising Miles' crown here. So he's got 23 crowned victories and look at what his crown looks like. Whereas mine had the one llama head in the middle with two little peaks to the left and right, his has three giant llama heads and a few peaks to the left and right of those. Not only this, each llama head has red jewels encrusted inside. So again, here's my llama at six. There's no red jewels at all on him. So I'm gonna have to keep track of this and see when things get added. As far as I know, nothing has changed just yet, but I'll go back and look at my footage from when I had zero and one and two and three and four and five, and I'll do a video from zero to a hundred and we'll see what it looks like. Now, in addition, when we put these side by side, you can see that his is much larger and rightfully so because with the addition of those llama heads, the crown itself has to get bigger. So I asked Mr. Rising Miles if he noticed when these changed and he thought it was every 10 wins. So for example, maybe at 10, I'll get another llama head and some red jewels will be added. And then at 20, I'll get that third llama head. And I imagine this only goes up to 99. That's what everyone's speculating because most reactive things only go to 99 in this game. But how cool is that? Imagine if it goes into something like this, some big majestic llama crown at 99 eliminations, or maybe 90 is when it would max out because you can't really get to 100. So who knows? But it's 100% confirmed to be a progression-based emote. How awesome. So there you go. That's about all there is to it. I just wanted to pass this information along. Again, thanks a lot to Rising Miles for showing me this. I will track my own progression and we'll see how the crown grows as you get more crowned victory royales. If you do happen to get an addition to your crown, tag me on Twitter, show me some images, and I'll put them all together and we'll do a video going from zero to 100. There you go. That's all there is to it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaperTime.